Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about UFC. As an African UFC fan, I want to comment on this controversy that's happening in the UFC that was started by this South African fighter called Duplessis, who basically said that he is the real African and all the other African fighters are fake. Now I will firstly show you a clip from his interview, then you will see Israel Adesanya's response and then I will comment why I think what Israel Adesanya said was actually a mistake. But before we get to that, please do remember to subscribe, like, share and comment. Or do you see this as an opportunity? Now you do get to be the guy if and when they show up to Africa. Well, I mean, did those belts ever go to Africa? As far as I know, it came to America and New Zealand. I'm going to take a belt to Africa. I'm the African fighter in the UFC. Myself and Cameron, we breathe the African air. We wake up in Africa every day. We train in Africa. We're African born. We're African raised. We still reside in Africa. We train out of Africa. That's an African champion and that's who I'll be. I've never questioned him as an African. Because, yeah, you were born in Africa, South Africa. Of course, you're an African. I've never questioned that. But who the fuck is this cracker to tell me who the fuck I am, who the fuck Kamaru is, who the fuck Nganu is? I'm like, are you dumb? As a product of colonization, you're trying to tell me who the fuck I am. You can take the boy out of Africa, but you can never take the Africa out of the, out of the boy. I never ever did that to him. I never discredited him as an African. I just, okay, there you are. Cool. You want to make a fight? Cool. But the fact that as a fucking cracker to tell me who the fuck I am, that pissed me off. And that's why he's my next fight. Because I don't want to fight anyone else. That This one pisses me off. Now, firstly, if I talk a bit about what Duplessis said, I think what he said is extremely disrespectful. And I do not think that being an African is a matter of location. And I think the idea that Kamaru Usman, Israel Adesanya, or especially Francis Ngannou are not real Africans, I think that's absurd. I think he also knows that that's absurd. As a white man saying that he's a real African, he knows that he's going to get a controversial reaction and he knows he's going to touch a nerve. But I cannot hate on him because at the end of the day, it's a fight game. And people say all kinds of crazy things in order to get their title fights. So he's doing what he has to do to advance his own career. But as we've seen with Conor and Khabib, when you start to talk about people's identity, their religion, who they are, something that is core to their beliefs, somebody questioning that, it's quite personal. So I could understand that Israel Sunny has a reaction. But I just think that there's no reason to have this reaction. Because at the end of the day, Duplessis is a new UFC fighter. He is pretty much a nobody right now. Sure, he's had a couple fights, and I've seen his fights, and I have to say I'm not impressed. He has Whitaker next, most likely he's gonna lose that fight. So, there's absolutely no reason to be talking about giving this man a title fight. He doesn't deserve a title fight. Most likely he will never deserve a title fight, and the only reason why he will get a title fight is if Israel decided decides to grant him one. If I was Israel Desanya, what I would have done is say, Who? To places? What? Who is a real African? Oh, he thinks he's a real African. Well, go through the ranks, do what I did, and then see you at the top and we'll have the fight and see who is a real African. And I don't think that Duplessis has any chance against Israel Adesanya. Sure, in a fight anything can happen, but the chances of Israel Adesanya losing to him, in my books, is close to zero. Israel Adesanya is a two-time middleweight champion, one of the greatest of all time. And there's absolutely no reason to put yourself into this discussion. But if this fight is going to happen, I just want to say this, that if this fight is actually going to happen, I hope that this will be on the African continent. Because Dana White has been talking about bringing UFC to African continent for years now. And in the last fight, after Israel Adesanya fight, he said something that they already have a location. I mean, they have the ground, they've been scouting, they have the place. So if these two are going to fight, African championship is going to be on the line. It has to be on the continent. I really wish it will be on the continent. And if that actually happens, then all of this will be worth it. But I think that what Duplessis is saying is extremely disrespectful. And I think that the response from Israel Adesanya is also disrespectful. But once you start to talk about people's identity, about their beliefs, stuff like that, you're not going to get pretty answers. And I think Israel Adesanya made a mistake here. I think he should have just played the card of I don't know who that is. 
I think he should have completely ignored the guy. And firstly, seeing what happens in the Whitaker fight. And if Whitaker wins, then he should have been like, yeah, hey, real African, blah, blah, blah. And then he should have commented on it. And then if he wins against Whitaker, maybe then he could be like, okay, fair enough. The guy deserves a title fight. But right now, I don't think he does deserve anything. But anyways, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please remember to subscribe, like, share, and comment.